This is the tablet of Carmel, revealed by Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith. O oh, glory be to this day, the day in which the fragments of mercy had been wafted of all created things, a day so blessed that past ages and centuries can never hope to rival it. A day in which the continents of the ancient of days hath turned towards his holy seat. Thereupon the voices of all created things and beyond them those of the concourse on high were heard calling aloud, Haste thee, O Carmel, for lo, the light of the contents of God, the rule of the kingdom of names and fest of the heavens, hath been lifted upon thee. Seized with transports of joy and raising high her voice, she thus exclaimed, May my life be a sacrifice to thee, inasmuch as thou hast fixed thy gaze upon me, hast bestowed upon me thy bounty, and hast directed towards me thy steps. Separation from thee, O thou source of everlasting life, hath well nigh consumed me in my remoteness from thy presence, hath burned away my soul. O praise be to thee for having enabled me to hearken to thy call, for having honored me with thy footsteps, for having quickened my soul to the vitalizing fragrance of thy day and the thrilling voice of thy pen. A voice, now it is ordained, as thy trumpet call amidst thy people. And when the hour in which thy resistless faith was to be made manifest did strike, thou didst breathe the breath of thy spirit into thy pen, and lo, the entire creation shook to its very foundations, unveiling to mankind such mysteries as they hidden within the treasures of him who is the possessor of all created things. No sooner had a voice reached that most exalted spot than we made reply, Render thanks unto thy Lord, O Carmel. The fire of thy separation from me was fast consuming thee when the ocean of thy presence surged before thy face, cheering thine eyes and those of all creation and filling with delight all those things, visible and invisible. Rejoice, for God has in this day established upon thee his throne, hath made thee the dawning place of his signs, and the day spring of the evidences of his revelation. Where well, is it with him that searcheth around thee, that proclaimeth the revelation of thy glory, and recounted that which the bounty of the Lord thy God hath showered upon thee. Seest thou the chalice of immortality in the name of thy Lord the All-Glorious, and give thanks unto him, inasmuch as he, in token of his mercy unto thee, hath turned thy sorrow into gladness, and transmuted thy grief into blissful joy. He verily loved the spot which hath been made the seat of his throne, which his footsteps have trodden, which hath been honored by his presence, from which he raised his call, and upon which he shed his tears. Call out to Zion, O come, I will announce the joyful tidings. He that was hidden from mortal eyes is come. His all-conquering sovereignty is manifest. His all-encompassing splendor is revealed. Beware lest thou hesitate or halt. Hasten forth and circumambulate the city of God that hath descended from heaven, the celestial Kaaba round which have circled in adoration the favor of God, the pure in heart, 
and the company of his most exalted angels. Oh, how I long to announce unto every spot on the surface of the earth, and to carry to each one of its cities the glad tidings of this revelation, a revelation to which the heart of Sinai hath been attracted, and in whose name the burning bush is calling unto God, the Lord of lords, belong the kingdom of earth and heaven. Verily, this is the day in which both land and sea rejoice at this announcement, the day for which have been laid up those things which God, through a bounty beyond the kin of mortal mind or heart, hath destined for revelation. Ere long will God raise his ark upon thee, and will manifest the people of Baha, who have been mentioned in the book of names. Sanctified be the Lord of all mankind, at the mention of whose name all the atoms of the earth have been made to vibrate, and the tongue of grandeur hath been moved to disclose that which hath been wrapped in his knowledge and lay concealed within the treasury of his might. He verily, through the potency of his name, the mighty, the all-powerful, the most high, is the rule of all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth.